There's more joy from cigarette producers than there is Nintendo. That's incredible. Wow. Wow. I actually did not expect that. You see the Nintendo Gmod situation? What? Why would there be a Nintendo Gmod situ- Oh, wow. Nintendo forcing Gary's Mod to delete 20 years worth of content. They're actually making a stink about Nintendo property being in Gmod now? Is there nothing Nintendo won't ruin? They have to be the most joyless corporation on the planet. No exaggeration, it's gotta be Nintendo, hands down. There's more joy from cigarette producers than there is Nintendo. That's incredible. Wow. Wow. I actually did not expect that. I have to look into this. There's no way. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. No shot. That's far even for Nintendo. I heard it's not actually Nintendo, but some known DMCA imposter. We'll, we'll, we'll go through this. I've got to find out now. Didn't Nintendo sue a 10-year-old birthday party or was that a meme? They've sued so many people and cease and desisted so many, I don't know. That sounds like something Nintendo would do, but the one that always stands out to me is... It was Marvel. And they shut down a child's gravestone having Spider-Man on it. And that was a big story. I don't remember Nintendo at a 10-year-old birthday party. Nintendo would send a cease and desist letter to a toddler for drawing a picture of Mario without paying them. That's... that is the Nintendo way. Wasn't this confirmed to be a troll impersonating Nintendo? I have no idea. This is the first time hearing about it. So we'll we'll find out. We'll get to the bottom of it. We'll go through what started this story and also where it's currently at. I'll leave no stone unturned. I feel like they would have done this sooner if it was really Nintendo. That's... Eh, I don't know. Nintendo's like 20 years behind on everything. Like they're only just now learning about the internet. So it's possible. Again, we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna really dive in. Get to the bottom of it. That's what my tweet was about. I had a bunch of tweets exposing this that the whole situation was fake. This one? <clears throat> Alright, let's ride. Let's see what all this is about. So they've been issued a takedown notice by Nintendo. As a result, Face Punch Studios, developers behind Gary's Mod, are in the process of removing about 20 years worth of Nintendo-related content from the game. In an update to Gary's Mod's Steam page, the developer stated, Some of you may have noticed that certain Nintendo-related workshop items have been taken down. This is not a mistake. The takedowns came from Nintendo. That certainly doesn't sound fake. Is that currently still the case right now with the game? I can't find... Oh, update history. There it is. Nothing here. Unless they already took it down because it turned out to be fraudulent. You scrolled past it. Oh, it's not in their updates? Oh, right here. It's in the announcements, not the updates. Nintendo stuff on Steam Workshop. We're working on removing all Nintendo-related stuff from Steam Workshop. Some of you may have noticed that certain Nintendo... Yep, we just read that. Honestly, this is fair enough. This is Nintendo's content and what they allow and don't allow is up to them. They don't want you playing with that stuff in Gary's Mod. That's their decision. We have to respect that and take down as much as we can. This is an ongoing process if we have, as we have 20 years of uploads to go through. If you want to help us by deleting your Nintendo-related uploads and never uploading them again, that would help us a lot. That does sound like old, old Scrooge. Nintendo. We're going to see if it's actually Nintendo or not. Regardless of if it's actually Nintendo, it seems whoever is behind it is successfully bullying Nintendo-related property off of Gary's Mod. So they're, they're already causing a huge change to it in a negative way. I don't see who would do that other than Nintendo, but... Let's continue. Despite Nintendo's litigious nature, not to mention its fierce protectiveness over its brand image and that and that of its mascots, the notice from Nintendo comes as a bit of a shock. The update goes to note, Nintendo's been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is them talking about how surprising it is, which I said as well. Nintendo-themed add-ons seem to, have begun take, seem to have begun getting taken down a few months ago, though Face Punch didn't publicly divulge that the company had issued the takedowns until earlier today. The process has been ongoing since then, and the developers are still working to remove it all, which is understandably a Herculean task. I mean, this has to be Nintendo, right? Like, there's no way it's been months off fake DMCAs. Especially not against a big company like this. Like, Gary's Mod is still one of the more, like, one of the most successful Steam games there is. Like, surely the company would be able to recognize if it actually came from Nintendo or a, a like, imposter. I would think. So where is the evidence that it's not Nintendo? I want to go through that now. You underestimate how much trolls and annoying Nintendo fans love this shit. There's no Nintendo fan out there that's offended that Mario and Luigi are shooting tampons in Gary's Mod. Like, they're, I don't think they're going to go out there and actively try and take it down by committing a crime by impersonating Nintendo. 
No shot. But let's see. I, I, I'm open to seeing it. Bro, look at the Nintendo fans who had a crusade against Power World. I guess. But I mean, that's just like Twitter, though. This is criminal. Like, I don't think they'd go that far. Oh, here's a post from eight days ago. Aaron Peters, the destroyer of add-ons. This came up when I was looking into it, or when I looked that up. Lately, there's been chaos in the workshop of Gmod, TF2, Source Filmmaker, Left 4 Dead 2, etc. An internet, internet troll by the name of Aaron Peters has been false flagging content creators' add-ons with fake DMCAs. This troll has been claiming he's part of Nintendo, which in fact he is not, and has been doing nothing but causing chaos for the past few months, probably at the start of January. That timeline does check out for what we just read. He has managed to target add-ons that are Nintendo or Nintendo-related. In some cases, he's managed to get rid of any add-ons that even have a smudge of a Nintendo character, even in a piece of art. I don't know if his goal is to get rid of Gmod video creators or just ruin everyone's fun in creating, co in creating content. He has managed to ruin everybody's day, and I can't blame them. Awareness must be spread about this. People must know about this, because for all we know, he could even target add-ons that aren't even Nintendo-related. Well, yeah, he's obviously not affiliated. He could target anything. He just chose Nintendo to be an asshole because it's the biggest. Where's the evidence for that? This seems like he's just saying, this dude's doing this. His name's Aaron. The evidence is on Know Your Meme for Steam Workshop Nintendo add-ons takedown. Know Your Meme compiled it? Right. The Kirby reanimated collab claims that their videos were taken down by third-party abusing DMCA takedowns, which isn't the first time this would have happened, by the way. This actually happened a few years ago for, it, it wasn't the same guy I don't think, but for Nintendo properties, someone did this as well on YouTube. This company, which doesn't have any clear links to Nintendo, has reportedly been targeting Nintendo, well I guess maybe it could be the same guy, just using different names. He keeps fleeing the countries. He goes on these rampages, then leaves the country and assumes a new identity only to do it a couple years later. The name of the company doing these takedowns is A-PAB. Been targeting Kirby creators in particular. Allegations that APAB is the real entity behind the copyright claims back, date back to 2020, with one creator saying that they reached out to Nintendo and received confirmation that it was not responsible for the strikes on their channel. Oh. Nintendo officially confirmed that they've never flagged any Kirby video, which makes me wonder, what is the motive behind APAB's flagging? All I know is that APAB also ruined many channels in Japan as well by false flagging. I'm really hoping someone investigates this company because what they're doing is 100% DMCA abuse. It's also a crime. The last guy that did this in Minecraft got fined 25 grand for each instance. This guy's on the hook for millions. The company's name stands for Association for Promotion of Advanced Broadcasting Services. But information on the entity is scarce. So like I know this has happened on YouTube, but I just can't imagine it happening to an, a full studio like Face Punch. I don't know, that seems... I feel like they do their due diligence on where the DMCA came from. I would really think. Can't Valve back them up? Yeah, you would think. I mean, this is... What he's doing is actually illegal. So you would think that there'd be a very difficult process in a case like this. Let me see this now. So this is... Bogus DMCA claims made by copyright troll claiming to be working for Nintendo of America, targeting add-ons from Nintendo franchises in the Steam Workshop. So they've been looking to find and take down the individual responsible for this as well as spread awareness. So workshoppers Brewster, T. Koopa, Crispy Toast, and Z. Pyromancer's voice actor, Electric Star. They've been out here like Jason Bourne trying to find this guy. February 11, 2024, Brewster posted a plethora of tweets involving false DMCAs on Twitter. This just, okay, I thought this was going to link the tweets. It just got me to an explanation of what Twitter is. Unlucky. In the same day, Crispy Toast uploaded a video titled, Reply, Nintendo Gmod Add-ons take, Taken Down. An entry into the re Demo Man series of videos. Let's see. I'm sorry. That does about sum it up. Demo Man said. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm caught up. Aaron Peters. Okay, here's the first mention of that name with some evidence. Aaron Peters, our prime suspect here, the Jack the Ripper of Nintendo add-ons. Hours after the video was posted, Brewster T. Koopa revealed that the individual had sent DMCA emails to almost all Nintendo-based Gmodders, including himself, which reveals the troll's name, Aaron Peters. So he's just, at, wait, is he actually just sending emails? I see why that would work on content creators, but surely Face Punch wouldn't just fall victim to this. This is like a phishing scam. I mean, he did copy and paste a, a lot of a lot of things here. Aaron Peters, Nintendo of America. Okay, that's not his real name then. 
That's just the alias he's using. There is no Aaron Peters, 100%. It was discovered that Peters had a history of sending fake DMCA's to pretty much anyone that contained Nintendo-related properties in the past, including not suitable for work artists and even Framemakers Workshop. Pillow Fort user MKLXIV shared a blog in 2019 that details their encounter with the troll. Peters' motivation as to why he sent fake DMCA's is currently unknown. Yeah, this guy sounds like an absolutely colossal loser. March 4th, 2024, Crispy Toast uploaded a video called Gary's Mod False Nintendo DMCA Claims, the story detailing the entire story about the false DMCA claims in the tweets above. Oh, nice. So you already broke down, like, the whole thing here. Hello, YouTube. Uh Alright, so there's, like, a nice, concise breakdown of it, but I think we're caught up on most of it. What if he was actually hired by Nintendo in secret because they know their lawyers couldn't be paid enough for even that level of heinous shit? Oh, he's just a fall guy? That would be an interesting theory. I think the more likely theory is it's a guy struggling with mental illness and he just wants to do something, like in general, do something to have an effect negatively on others. I think that's probably what's going on here, would be my guess. I'm very confident this guy's name's not actually Aaron Peters, it's just what he's calling himself in these emails. What I think Nintendo should do, and I know they won't because they're still only just now figuring out the internet is a thing they can engage with. But what they should do is take this guy to court and fuck him. Like, he needs to be made an example out of. This is, like, the third or fourth time this has happened to Nintendo in particular with people per impersonating them for DMCA takedowns. But I think Nintendo's too out of touch to even consider that. But why he's literally doing all their shit work for free. Yeah, but you also... Even though I'm sure Nintendo's not losing sleep over taking away people's fun since they love that... It's still illegal to impersonate them, and I'm sure they're not happy about that. Searching up Aaron Peters shows you a plethora of the same names, besides Nintendo is fine with models and sprites used for content since they're in the gray area. Yeah, but that, again, that's Nintendo. There was a time when Nintendo used to take down YouTube videos of people playing Mario Kart. Like, Nintendo is also the company that was behind banning streamers because they played um, Hyrule Warriors, like, eight hours early because they forgot time zones exist so they were playing it eight hours early because they were overseas where it'd come out legally like i don't know i don't put a whole lot of trust in nintendo e to even consider something like actually taking action here which they should like th this what he's doing is illegal it's bad for everyone i'd really like to know more about this mysterious fucking turbo douchebag though aaron peters but it, it does seem now that Gmod has been hit by this guy, not Nintendo. I'm just kind of surprised that Face Punch wouldn't have done more to investigate if they're authentic DMCA claims or not. Again, they're one of Steam's most successful games. They probably could have a direct line to Valve and ask them, Hey, have you guys received notice from Nintendo that we have to take our shit down? Yeah, there is a ton of shit on Aaron Peters dating back for quite a while. And there are just some weird people in the world, man. What an interesting thing to want to do. Yeah, this is back in January. And then here's Brewster's tweets about it from February. <laughs> if Nintendo's reputation going to get dragged through the mud, it's got to be on their own terms. Also, should they give this Aaron guy the same treatment they did with that Switch modifying Bowser guy? Oh, I God, that poor soul. Yeah, I mean, if Nint God, Aaron Peters probably sleeps with one eye open. Because if Nintendo ever does decide to take action, his life is over. They fucked Bowser hard. That man is indebted to them for the rest of his life. What was his first name? I can't remember, hold on. Gary Bowser. Oh, they did him dirty. He went to jail and he still owes them 25% of his monthly income for the rest of his life till he makes over 10 million, I guess. If I was Gary, I'd start selling weed. Yeah, he's gonna have to get really creative, like, I don't know. Hey, this is clearly, like I said back when I made a video on this, this is, 10 million means nothing to Nintendo. This is actually just to ruin him and send a message to everyone else in the modding community. Like, if you step too far, if you go too deep, this could happen to you, type thing. It is not Nintendo, no. It turns out, it is not. Gary's mod creators got fooled by the slippery Aaron Peters. Can't the Gmod devs just not take their shit down if it's a fake DMCA? Yeah, that's what they should do, but it looks like they don't know yet. Hopefully, they'll be made aware that it's not real soon. They should. Gmod does know about the guy. Well, then they should stop removing the assets. 
or the add-ons because it's not real. They should have never gone and removed the add-ons, but it's already too late for that. Yeah, hopefully they didn't remove a ton, but it sounds like they did. They can probably roll back the deletions. No, apparently, or at least according to a few chatters, most people archive them anyway, so they can just re-upload them. So I don't think it'll be a huge issue.